hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are interested in seeing how i do this wig install keep on watching you guys have asked me for a wig tutorial for the longest so i just wanted to finally show you all how i did it this is actually with an amazon wig i'm gonna leave the company's link below um and yeah i thought the hair was really good actually i thought it was pretty full um and so lately you guys i have been using lace tint spray and i use the one by red kiss most importantly i use it well i use the light warm brown one by red kiss and it it's perfect like to me it looks like my black my knots are bleached when i use this one so yeah um it's very important to make sure that you cut the ear tabs and when i cut the ear tabs i cut right above my ear like Right where the top of your ear starts, that's where you want to cut that excess lace. Be careful, it's trial and error at the end of the day. I've told many of you that I don't use lace glue, which is true. I switch out my wigs a lot, but the lace spray that I use is Even Lace Spray Sports Edition. It is a sweat-proof lace spray that can be layered, and it has adhesive that is very similar to glue. But it's not as strong of a hold and... It's good enough hold that it'll keep your wig down, but you will probably have to keep using it daily, which is fine. Um, I always glue my lace. Like, I'll pull it down just a little bit be below my hairline, which y'all be hating that, but it works for me, y'all. I do not want to mess up my hairline, mess around with these wigs, especially as often as I do them. No, I don't do the bald cap method. I literally just put my cap on my head. HD, of course. I use a HD wig cap, and that does make a difference because the other wig caps are too thick. This one's very sheer, and I'll show you guys maybe in another tutorial which exact one that I use, but the companies usually send me the wig cap that I use. But yeah, I used this lace spray and um, a melting spray that I tried for the first time, which was really, really good. Um, and so I will spray the hair down before actually fully cutting the whole lace i'm getting a i get a better melt with that no i don't use a wig band but if you do it's nothing wrong with that um i think everyone should just do what works for them but as y'all can see i got a pretty good melt and hold from using these two products so i hold them up you're more than welcome to screenshot them i got them at my local beauty supply store but i do believe you can get this same lace spray both of them off of amazon um so yeah definitely give it Give it a try and let me know how it works for you all in the comments. I've had a lot of girls use it from TikTok and they said it worked really good for them. Also, y'all need to invest in a wax stick. A wax stick is what's going to keep your hair flat at the top. If you don't prefer a wax stick, then you need a spritz wax stick and a hot comb. I will link this hot comb. I got it off of Amazon as well. I'll link this hot comb below as well. But you have to hot comb the top of your wig or it's not going to be flat. So I use my wax stick first and then I'll go in with my hot comb as well. And then that's when I start to um, see a difference in like the flatness of the hair and get all of those areas. Like make sure you flatten the top, the sides, everything that's bulky, baby. And so then I'm going to cut out my baby hairs. Sometimes I do like t use my tweezers to further like pluck and make sure everything is good. But in this case, because I already plucked the hairline, the baby hairs was pretty good. I'll section off my baby hairs and sideburns, and then I'll curl them with my small flat iron. I got this one on TikTok. Y'all, TikTok be taking all my money. But yeah, and then I will use my lace spray. And y'all going to see how I do that in a minute. But I'll use my lace spray, and I'll just like spray it on my finger. This is after I've cut the baby hairs. I'll spray it on my finger, and then... I will like just put it at the top of the edge, not really throughout the whole thing. And then I'll swoop it, like swoop the edge with like that access hair. And notice I put it on my finger, not directly on the hair because it could spray too much and you don't want your edges to be hard. I was kind of going for a soft, fluffy baby hair. Look, I don't want them stuck to my head, but I don't want them moving around either. So... Y'all gonna see, I'm pretty much demonstrating what I'm doing here. And yeah, guys. Also, I did want to curl this wig. I did not put product on the hair. That's one thing I don't like doing for some reason. I see girls add oils and serums and stuff. The only product I'm cool with using is spritz to hold the hair. I don't like when my hair looks weighed down. So, I'm more of a wand curl girly 
I got this one color on my local beauty supply store. Y'all don't start me lying. I don't know. I don't have a link for you. But um, <laughs> definitely, if you get this size wall curl, you will love your curls. And make sure that you pin your curls. So go invest in some duckbill clips to help you. I have duckbill clips, plenty of duckbill clips, because I have to make sure that my hair holds. And so at this point, I'm just demonstrating to you all how I want to curl my hair, which... I mean, I could do a tutorial on it. Just let me know if y'all need like a curling tutorial. I would prefer. I I I would think y'all would want a curling tutorial on how to curl with a flat iron. So just let me know. Um, but yeah, I just pretty much do this all throughout the hair, starting at the bottom, working my way up, section doing working in sections, working in sections makes it easier. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole hairstyle. After you clip it, let the the curls cool. Do your makeup or something like that. And then take all the clips out and boom, like you have a very pretty side part style. And this isn't a deep side part because I didn't want a deep side part this time. But y'all, let me know if y'all like this hairstyle. What do y'all think? What's some other hair tutorials that y'all want to see? Let me know in the comments. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. And I love